Hi and welcome to Wigan RC and it's a glorious day in Melbourne, blue skies, middle of summer and we're here with yet another new plane so to speak. This is the Tech Sumo from Hobby King and I bought the kit version of this and today we're going to just do a quick unboxing and then we'll have a quick look what's inside the box and all the parts that I've done and then we'll put it together. We may also um, put this together with Vass from Aussie RC Playground so he'll be joining us shortly and yeah we'll be going through the build and telling you a bit more about this new wing and in the meantime what we'll do is we'll get a quick close-up of what's in the box so let's get straight into it I've already opened the box so um, um, I've checked out what's the contents is make sure everything's there and let's get straight into what's inside okay so First of all, the kit comes with um, most of the hardware you need um, for the build. I ordered some extra carbon fiber two millimeter um, rods just to um, reinforce the wing in a couple of areas. I've also, so this basically in the kit, you get the hardware, the wing, um, the side um, panels and you basically have to order all of the rest of your electronics, your motor, ESC, propellers, and so forth. So I went for this 28 um, prop dr drive. It's a 1350 kV, and I've already put on my um, bullets. So that's great. Comes in a nice little box. Put that back in there also comes with the prop um, adapter so this should give us enough power for this wing I'll put that to one side also I ordered a 60 amp it's it basically says on the box that up to a 40 amp is sufficient um, I may be putting some bigger batteries in getting a bit more speed maybe try 4s or something like that so um, this is the ESC now on top of that I ordered some extra um, um, servo extender cables so just in case so I can reach wherever I need to reach and here is my receiver this is a orange receiver it's DSMX, so it's compatible with my um, Spectrum. I did order a new, um, uh, sorry, an extra um, adapter for the prop. So this is an aluminium one. So I may not need it, but great to have a spare. So that's great. Got some props, a couple of different sizes, six by fours. And this is the wing itself. So, as you can see, it will. I'll, I'll basically get my epoxy, glue everything up, get this started, and you've got your spaces for your bits and pieces, speed controller, batteries, and so forth underneath. So, that's great. So there are some spars already inserted into this, so for strength, so that's great. I'll just put that to one side. Now here's the bag of hardware. So you get some reinforced tape. You've got your servo little mounts there. Comes with zip ties got your rods for your um, ailerons and so forth and 
The good thing about this new kit is that it now comes with a carbon fiber um, motor mount. Here's for your battery, a bit of plywood so it doesn't pull through when you, if you have a bad crash. This has a little bit of a nose cone that you basically glue onto it. So I may use this for my rough, tough landings. And we've also got some extra carbon fiber pieces. I think this is to do with the FPV man as well. And then we've just got the sides for the wing here that go on the side here as well. So these will go on the side. I don't know if I've got it the right way around, but basically like so. Okay, so that's the unboxing complete. And just a matter now of putting it all together. And what I'll do is I may start the wing and just epoxy this together first. So that it's got plenty of time to dry before we continue on with the build. So I will definitely do this first and get this started and then you can join us when we finish the rest of the build. Okay, guys. Okay, welcome back to Wigan RC. So we're here with Vass from Aussie Playground. Aussie sorry, RC Playground. Aussie RC Playground, <laughs> sorry. Um, so we're just gonna finish off the build. Um, Vass has kindly said he'd give me a hand. Yeah, well, I've got one of these already, so I figured I'll come in and have a bit of a look at the new version and also give you a hand with the build and let you know some of the tricks and tips of the trade I guess. Yeah and this one what I've done earlier I pre-glued the wing so it's nice and dry ready for us to attack. Yeah no from now on it should be pretty straightforward once you've got the, the wing sort of glued up um, all we're gonna have to do is uh, just put these extra spars on the edge uh, that'll give you a little bit of added strength and stiffness to the wing as well. Um, then we'll move on to our servos, uh, put them in position, uh, get the servo horns located and slide it into place on your alibons. Um, we've got some smart thinking there. You've got some uh, servo extension leads, which yep. we are going to need. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there on, it's just plug and play. It's, it's, it moves pretty quick. Okay. Um, afterwards, it's just this, uh, these rods. You don't really need to put these rods on. I'm doing them uh, for you because uh, it does give you a bit of added strength and stiffness to the wing. Uh, and I also did it on mine and I think it's a, it's a good little investment because when you do uh, come down a little bit hard or anything like that, it adds that extra little bit of protection uh, to your wing. Okay, great. Okay, so we'll probably do it in stages. So we'll be back soon with our next little part of the build. So just adding the spars in the front. And that's a, gonna toughen up for my terrible landings. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> now that you've mentioned it, yeah. cat's, cat's out of the bag. <laughs> so you basically just push that in about yeah, half a centimeter. You do, you do a cut probably almost the full length of your blade. So you cut yeah. all the way along like that. Yeah, um, and then you slide this in. Um, just a two two mil rod can even be a one and a half if you want, um, and just push it down as far as she'll go. Yeah, and then when we put the glue on the top, we close the foam, so the rod will be hidden underneath the foam. You won't even know that the rod's there. Yeah, right. That's the idea. Excellent. So we've just put the. Um, spars in the front and glued that down so as you can see there it's a nice clean join and then we've glued the motor mount at the back so that's there ready for the motor and we've also glued in the servos sorry the servo mount there and also the oh, yeah. aileron Control horns. control horns, yeah. So there we go. So we're getting 
getting there now. So now we're going to put on our, um, get our servos mounted up. We're going to dry fit them and basically just uh, work out a route of where the cables are going to come back to the ESC or rather to the receiver, which will most likely mount on the top side. And uh, that'll be it. Then we glue the end bits on and yeah, she's almost done. All right, cool. Okay, we're here with Vass. This is the maiden of our Tech Sumo, the one we built and everything's looking great we've done some quick additions we've put the aerials over on some heat shrink because there's diversity in this receiver and then over the other side we've just made some custom landing gear there so that it doesn't scoff the um, electronics and we've done something here oh, for gotta, the i'll replug that in for the battery connectors that's fine for the first That's all right. one. Quick unplug. Plug that in so we go underneath that little wire thing so it doesn't hit any of the um, electronics when it lands. There we go. And so, yes, the maiden of. The Hopefully it goes well. Texumo. Not that I'm nervous or anything. Barely needs any trim at all. Oh wow! We set it's it up. It's actually flying really, really well. Alright, set it. Good setup. Really good setup. Elevator's a little sensitive. We might need to tune that down. <laughs> Alright, gonna go into high rates. Let's see how it feels. Good setup. All right, back into low rates, cruising speed. <laughs> there you go. She's Good ready work. For you, man. Okay. Doing very well. So that's the way it's done. You catch it when it's coming to you in the air. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Okay. My turn to crash it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try a self launch. Okay. Little bit. Flying really nice. Loop. Let's try and turn that around the other direction. This wing's nice to fly. And you can just float it. You can just float it around. Okay. And let's get some altitude. I'm going to 
turn the rights up so the rights are up a bit so it's a bit more responsive Nice and steady. Oh, mate, I thought he was going to hit me with the drone. <laughs> uh. Well, sometimes there's a few too many people flying. But should be okay because these things can take a beating. Oh, but not this time. Okay, so we've got a repair job on this. Okay, it's just the front end come off. Okay. Some glue. And hot glue is your friend. Okay, so after the maiden flight, I started getting quite confident with flying this Texumo wing, doing some loops, getting my flight hours up so I'm starting to really get a lot more confident with flying. Had to do some quick repairs at the front. I've just fixed the front, glued it, put some tape on the front and that's a good thing about these wings, they just take a beating. And this is now ready for another flight. So I'll quickly get this up and get back into it and you can see another flight with this. So thanks for tuning in, we're going to see, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you like the video, what you think of this um, wing, the Tetsumo, Tetsumo and hold on for some new and exciting videos. Okay, we're going to see signing off.